And now it's time for us to remove some edges. And we're going to continue using the eraser. I'm just going to choose a different eraser tool. And I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to guess 10. Uh, let's try that out. And then if I want to just kind of chop off the corners, sort of an uneven way. Mm, nope, don't like that brush. Don't like that brush at all. Let's try something. Uh, no, that's too big. Maybe somewhere around seven. And we'll try and get some kind of a, a rough jagged corner. And so we'll just take these three corners and just kind of shred them a little bit. So give them just kind of a, a ripped and torn kind of feel. And then what you're left with are the dangling bits. There's one dangling bit there. There's two dangling bits there. We've actually got maybe three dangling bits over here. And so to solve that problem, I'm going to just go to the plain old circle tool. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Um, a little bit too big. And then once I get a nice size circle with a solid, um, solid circle, not no fuzzy outline. Now when I erase, it literally takes everything that's left over. I don't have to worry about it making nice smooth edges because I've already made my edges with my smaller tool. And then I just need to double check. You can see there's a little bit left there and a little bit left there. If you've forgotten how to zoom in, you can just hold down um, the plus key on your keypad. Or um, if you're trying to do it on the regular keyboard, it's you'd have to hold down shift and plus. So you can see again, there's a little bit there. I'll just get rid of those. Get rid of those. Oh, there's another one here. So I'll just move back up. Okay. And I'll just use the minus to zoom back out again. And just take that off. Okay. So you can just kind of use the plus and zoom in. Make sure that that's good. Make sure that that no, no little dangling bits there. There we go. And so the you, edges have been erased. Now, if you want to go back and change it some more, you can kind of realize that these are now perfectly straight at the top and perfectly straight on the sides. So if you want to add some more cut so that the picture really looks torn and weather beaten, then you feel free to do that. But uh, the three edges are what's most important for this lesson right now. So go ahead, save your work. And we've got one or two more steps left to go.